everyone, my name is Mia. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is gonna be just a bunch of random stuff. I wanted to vlog right now because I feel like I've just been a gal on the go, truly. I went to New York City this past weekend with my boyfriend, which was so much fun. We had so much fun, but I didn't vlog it because I kind of just wanted to like be in the moment, enjoy the moment. I took a lot of pictures though. And then it was a Super Bowl, so I celebrated with my family, and of course we ate like a bunch of random stuff, and then Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I've been loading up on cupcakes and chocolate and cookies and all that. So, <laughs> that calls for a green smoothie. This is one of my favorite things to make when I'm feeling just like, eh. It's also just like a great breakfast and a good pick-me-up. Um, it's just, hello. It's just a handful of spinach, one frozen banana, and a little bit of almond milk. And then sometimes you can throw like, um, it's really good if you put like vanilla protein powder or something. I just got a really exciting package in the mail from Bread. I talked about their hair oil in a previous video and it's literally like the best thing I've ever put on my hair. So they sent me these bread puffs, which are little silk hair ties. Thank you so much, bread. I'm really excited about these. Packaging, so cute too. Anyway, I am being a gal on the go again and I'm going to Rhode Island this weekend to visit my college friends because I only have a couple weeks left before I start working as a nurse. So I'm trying to just enjoy this time that I have off to just like take a breather but it's kind of hard to do that because I'm a person that constantly needs to be like busy. I am about to go for a walk and get coffee with my friend Victoria so I'm gonna go do that and I'll catch you guys when I get back from Rhode Island in a couple days. such a fun weekend in Rhode Island visiting all my college friends and I got to visit all my old bars see my old house my old bedroom that I actually miss so much that thing was huge but it was so fun seeing everyone and just having like a weekend to like let loose and like not worry about anything but I'm back now I'm back home I've been really working on my jewelry brand I'm shipping out orders marketing for that like posting tiktoks by the way if you follow us on tiktok you get a special discount code um for 15 percent off it's just at shop mia demi so definitely check us out and also follow us on instagram i have a whole new design like line that just came out a whole new collection so you guys could, should go check those out if you're in the market for some new jewelry i'm wearing the princess ring right now and i literally get so many compliments on it like yesterday i went to go get my hair cut which by the way my hair girl is amazing she does such a good job she did everything i asked for but i went to get my hair cut and i was checking out and the woman at the desk was like oh my god i love your ring and i was like thank you so much and then last week i forget where i was but i was oh i was checking out like this coffee shop and this girl was like oh my god i love your bracelet and i was wearing this evil eye my our danielle bracelet and i was like thank you so much it just feels good that to know that people actually like are enjoying the things that you're making because you're actually making a difference for people you're not just doing it for no reason you know like people are actually like enjoying the product so anyway check us out if you're interested but i've been just like really working on my jewelry brand i have to go film a video actually for youtube um along the nursing lines which is exciting my actual physical nursing license came in the mail yesterday so things are getting real guys like things are getting real hi guys it's the next day i slept up next last night and when he when i sleep at his house he has to wake up at like seven something for work so i usually leave around eight and get my day started and go to the gym and just go 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 but today i decided to just take it slow ease into my day i have an eyelash appointment at 11 o'clock it's 10 o'clock right now so i'll probably leave in like a half hour or so i really want to get my car washed because the inside is just like kind of gross so i want to go vacuum it and obviously get the outside wash too and then i need to go to the gym and i'm also going to go grocery shopping because my parents are going away this weekend so i need to cook for myself which will be so interesting because i haven't done that since i lived alone in december so i need to look up some recipes because i haven't been a chef lately but yeah that's the game plan for today right now i'm just 
watching some YouTube videos. Um, I started reading this book yesterday. This is the sequel to Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I literally was obsessed with that book. I read it this summer and I actually was obsessed. Like I thought about it for weeks after and they're thick books. They're like 600 pages. So when I saw that she was coming out with a sequel, I was like pre-order and it shipped a couple days ago. Just got it in the mail like two days ago. Started reading it yesterday, but I just haven't had time. So I really wanted to like get into the book. So it's pretty good so far. I'm trying to just have a slow day slow morning slow day I don't have anywhere to be I don't really have any obligations I need to just enjoy the day even though it's like gross outside it we've have been having the worst weather here also it was so cute this morning I got a text from the owner of the spin studio that I used to go to when I was at school because I had a couple classes left that I, did. I think I had like one class left on my account that I never used because I ended up you know, it got busy at the end of the school year. Like, I graduated, I came home, blah, blah, blah. She just texted me and she was like, oh, I saw that you have one class left. Like, we miss you. Would love to have you, like, back for a class. Let me know if you want to sign up. And I was like, oh, my God, hi. Thanks so much for reaching out, but I'm not there anymore. It was just sad because I loved that studio. It really was so fun. I only went to, it like, I think four classes in total. But it was so fun. I loved the the instructors and the studio they were so nice especially the owner she was always so nice and she knew everyone on a first name basis i think i should get dressed and get ready for the day all right guys here's the fit we're being very casual today i have this little sweater on i honestly think i got it like marshall's or tj maxx cropped up from boohoo i believe skims yogas and my new balances let's go get my lashes out my lash girl is gonna be like what is wrong with you literally look at these things I don't know what I did to them this time, but they look crazy, so I need to get them fixed. At the car wash! <laughs> this is so crazy! I got my lashes done, you can't really see them, but I feel so much better. That was good. I mean, like a good workout. I always clean my headphones after because I sweat so much. Having a little snack. I made an iced coffee, and these are really good. They're like very minimal ingredients. I'm having a dilemma because I really want to go get a matcha. So bad, but I'm talking myself out of it because I don't need that right now. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. About to be dinner time. I don't need a matcha. Oh my god, but it sounds so good. No, I don't need it. Sorry, I had to keep myself, hold myself accountable and put this on the camera so I don't get a matcha. Also, I changed them in like a hideous outfit because I went tanning after I worked out and I don't know if this is true. First of all, tanning is very bad for you if you go in the tanning bed. Please don't go in it, but I do it sometimes. And I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently you're not supposed to shower for an hour after to let your tan like sink in. So... That could be completely false, but I've always followed that rule since I've literally been tanning for years now. So I didn't shower after <laughs> after I worked out. So I just put on a gross outfit to go food shopping. Meanwhile, I hate food shopping. I haven't been grocery shopping in so long. And it's annoying. Everything's so expensive. I forgot to bring, like, reusable bags, so I had to buy reusable bags. And it's like, really, guys? Come on. Anyway, that's enough for right now. No matcha for me. I'm not getting matcha. I'm sorry about that. How can I help you? That's okay. Can I just do a medium iced coffee with toasted almond and oat milk, please? Anything else? And then do you have any glazed munchkins? Yes, we do. Can I just do a cup of those? Uh, yeah, like how many? Like five, maybe? Okay, kids, don't be fooled because I know it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday, but it's a different sweatshirt. <laughs> this sweatshirt, actually, it's from Brandy Melville. I've had it for years. I love their, like, zip-ups because they're thick, um, and they're so comfortable. But this is actually what gave me the inspiration to make our Angel Energy hoodie. And our hoodie is so comfortable. That was my main goal when I was making... When I decided to start making clothing, I was like, it needs to be comfortable because there's been so many times where, like, I'll want a really cute sweatshirt from a brand, but then I get it and it's, like, itchy or it's, like, thick and it's, like, choking me. And then I'm like, okay, well, that's annoying because I was so excited for this and it was so cute and now I can't even wear it because it's not comfortable. Why is my coffee this color? I'm going to have to fix that, but it's all about balance, guys. I've been craving these munchkins, but I'm also going to make a smoothie. I'm going to show you how to do a different variation 
I'm in the mood for like a little bit, like something creamier today. So first, I'm gonna put some yogurt in actually. This is my favorite kind of yogurt. I always get it, just the vanilla Chobani. I'm all for dairy yogurt. I love yogurt, which is so funny because my mom hates it. And she always told me growing up that she like didn't want to feed me yogurt because she can't even stand the smell of it. Like if we eat it at our house and she like goes to throw something out in the trash and she smells yogurt, she's like, who just had yogurt? So that's why I'm surprised that I like it because she obviously never ate it when I was like in her stomach. Banana, always. Spinach, I love to pack the spinach in there. Never mind guys, my blend jet died. So now we're gonna add in the mango. Look how beautiful! Let's test her. Mm. Perfect. Chucky, you look so cute right now. He's taking a nap in the sun. Oh. It's really golden hour right now. So right now I'm going to a tattoo consult. I don't have a tattoo. This is going to be my first one. And I've been putting it off for so long now. Like both of my parents have so many tattoos and I've always said I wanted them. But I'm a very simplistic person. Like I don't want anything crazy. I want eventually my vision is to have like kind of like a sticker sleeve but very simple like very small simple basic tattoos and obviously i want them all to be like to mean something and i have all these ideas of like what i want it to eventually look like in the end but i don't know like what should be my first one i don't know what this tattoo artist is like like i don't know what he's good at so i mean i looked up his stuff and it's like pretty crazy like he does intense things so hopefully when he sees me he's not gonna be like oh my god this little girl wants like this stupid little tattoos <laughs> that's why we're doing like a consultation because i just want to see like what his style is like and like what he would be good at doing for me because i have a couple ideas that are kind of like different so whatever he would be best at is what i want to get done from him okay i'm back i didn't vlog in there because i was like shaking i was so nervous i don't know why because i didn't know what i wanted and he like was very like cool about it he was just so like nonchalant chill i mean obviously like tattoo artists usually are like tatted up so like peak he probably gets people in there all the time that get like crazy stuff so what i was asking for was like bare minimum um but basically we decided on doing a heart with flowers coming out of it and then i also wanted to get when i went to spain i got this ring and it was like my favorite thing ever and i lost it so I wanted to like get the flower from my ring that I got in Spain on me, like on my wrist. So he like drew it out. It actually came out really good. We're going to do that. So I think I'm going to start with like floral stuff. And then like my next round will be like the teddy bear that I want for my, for bear, my dog. And then the pasta noodle that I want for Chuck, my other dog, because we call him noodle. So that's going to be the start of my sticker sleeve. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't have an appointment though because I was like, I have no idea what my work schedule is going to be like, so I will let you know. So I know this is like really hard to see, but that's my ring that I got in Spain. And he basically just like drew over the, the flower. We added a stem with some like leaves on it and it actually looks so good. So I'm going to get that, get that right here that flower and then the heart with the flowers i'm getting both on my right arm i think i might do that on my tricep so like the flowers aren't too close and then when i get my other stuff i might do my other arm i don't know this is like so crazy guys but i'm getting a fucking tattoo two of them ah! <laughs> okay bye making some cheeseburgers for dinner never done this before hopefully they come out good i don't even know how you cook a burger my dad just told me he does it in the skillet that's what I'm doing. Hopefully it comes out good. Cause I feel like you can't like, I mean you can overcook and undercook a burger, but you can't really undercook it. Like as long as, you know, like you can tell if it's like raw. Okay guys, finished product. I think I did good. made some tea i haven't made tea since i like in a long time why is my lighting so bad in here um but sometimes i'm just like craving it when you want to just like wind down at the end of the night tea is like the perfect way to do it when you want something hot and it's too late to have coffee i'm gonna drink this and i'm gonna watch outer banks because i watched the first episode yesterday and i'm gonna binge it tonight and i told nick i would wait for him but he's slacking so sorry i'm gonna start it